<clears throat> Apparently, I, I I do a lot of shit for uh, attention seeking. Because it's um, strangely odd because um, my ex. Not only from 2006, but my ex from 1996 wondered if I was still interested in them after so many fucking years later. <laughs> See, my ex from 96, she's uh, a year older than I am. She's got like two or three kids already. And she's with a black man. You know, after pushing out that many kids, you know. <laughs> and then my ex from uh, 2006... She got married, I don't know, a few years after I broke up, and then she tried contacting me. Oh, you still want me? I'm planning on divorcing this guy. I was like, holy fuck. Two kids in, and you're not fucking happy after you got fucking married? Look at me, I'm an ugly piece of shit. Now this one from 2016. Ten years later, after 2006, it is. I ran out to an elder's home to get the fuck away from her. I didn't want to be in another relationship ever again. But she showed up out there in 2016. And he said only one of us could stay there. The other one had to leave. And I was like, all right. I left and she followed. And I went to go be homeless. She sent me a video about narcissism and shit, you know, attention seeking. No, I, I, I don't know how I'm the one that's um attention seeking when, you know, it, it, everybody wouldn't leave me alone in person. I, I'm not used to that. But anyway, I'd, I'd ask these uh, certain people to leave me alone. Man, you know, they did listen for a good minute or two.
But yeah, fucking. Anyway, I'm watching this video that she sent me, and it's from TikTok. And she's trying to say I, I'm the this type of piece of shit. Oh, and to me, it, it really doesn't freaking matter. Just what what made her change her ways it was getting knocked up again. Me, I I'd already uh, planned on fucking just slowing up on everything I was doing. Even before she was coming into my life. Because I, I heard we're, we're going to get a shit ton of money. But I didn't find that out till after she found out. She, she didn't believe none of it went to collections. She just, just thought I was pocketing the money. And then, uh... Somebody told her that I, I was in my dad's will. And that's what made her stay around longer. It, it, it's fucking funny that she wants to bring that shit up, but she wants to forget about the time, um, the DNA lady from my tribe called and asked why, why hasn't there been no appointment set up for the DNA test? I said, you got to talk to her. I, it's like you said, you can't, I can't force her to do anything. It's on you to ask her, right? And she basically told the DNA lady, I, I don't care if it's um, coming out of pocket or not. We're not doing it. You know, and then she throws a phone at me, thinking I... I purposely uh, set that up. You know, and then... Yeah, that's when I start thinking, oh, well, if that's the way she wants it. Fuck it, then... I'm going to start accusing her of saying, that's not my kid if you're uh, refusing to do the DNA test. It's not mine. But she wants me to believe that her ex stabbed her in the butt cheek for no reason at all. I'm like, um, I, 
I know I can be violent. I know I can be a real piece of shit. But in order for me to get like that, you, you really have to get me all fucked up. I mean, you either got to get in my face or just continuously just talk shit about me just because you think you can get away with it. You literally have to push my buttons in order for me to be fucking violent. Because I... I had a couple other... YouTube channels, you know, that had hours and hours of live streaming, and there, there's a whole YouTube community, could vouch for that, and also, you know, They've seen me post comments, you know, let them know that, you know, my, this other channel is no longer active because of YouTube or whatever. I mean, it, all, all I talked about is uh, my personal life, <laughs> you know. What I did in my home village. What I missed doing. Now I, I enjoy talking about this one every once in a while. Because I also remember a few days up until this. And you know what I was doing that a couple of days before this happened. You know. I'm bringing those memories working. But I, I, I guess I'm a, a narcissist now. You know, I'm seeking attention so bad that I want to make her uh, look bad. And I, I'm, I, I'm not the one who's Trying to go back to my old lifestyle. I'm actually being forced to go back to it. You know, I, I'm having a difficult time finding another place to stay. And if she can find another place to stay within fucking two weeks. And you gotta be trying to tell people I, I have it easier than her. Man, I, I'm, I'm literally preparing to go back to being homeless. I mean... I, I've... I've never met a narcissist who's actually homeless. They usually got some fucking awesome backup story to fucking have a roof over their head. I mean, the only reason why I got this one is because, um, you know, I was told I was a father. You know, and my mom always wanted to be a grandma. When I get them closer to her. Shit. Ooh. 
But yeah, I, I guess I am a, trying to say I'm a better person and doing all this and doing all that. You're lower than me because you don't want to do this and you don't want to do that. And you want to send us subliminal messages to uh, kill all men, huh? But, um, if you are stalking me on one of your, uh, catfish accounts, I've already asked, uh, Choats to, uh, ask you to leave me alone. I blocked you on Facebook for a reason. If I ever see... You on other platforms, I'm going to block you. And you went around telling people I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And yet every so often when, when I put enough truth on a YouTube channel... I'm starting to think that's you stalking me getting my fucking channels fucking nuked. I, I couldn't force you to, uh, do a DNA test in that four year thing that I, that was supposed to be done in under four years. You know I don't have the money to fucking get you court ordered to come back here to this state. You want to call me a fucking narcissist? You're the one scared to actually get the DNA test done before the fucking deadline of her fourth birthday. Narcissists do that, not good parents. You don't go around claiming to be a so called good mom. Why why didn't why didn't you let her know if I was her actual biological father or not? You're going to teach her to be just as fucking childish as you are. But I'm the fucking narcissist, huh? DNA lady told me I couldn't force you to do it. I, I had to ask. Especially if I didn't have the money for the court order bullshit. But I'm a fucking narcissist. 